Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to Epic Quest. Today, we're going to take on World 7 Challenge. Okay. Interesting. Okay, I'm not- wait. Okay. I was gonna say I'm not sure what I would have been meant to do if I didn't have ice. But here we are. Those are little bouncy things, and I guess for that form of looking to the original Super Mario Brothers one, its ba its position is based on vertical position on the screen rather than relative to Mario. Seven Dash Castle, King Wart's Conquest. Oh joy, Wart again. This seems extremely familiar, except this version of Mega Spikes is not familiar to me. Okay, so I do appreciate the warning before the spikes do their thing. Oh my. That enemy was just. What the? Okay. Timing multiple things together. Not really a good time. But whatever. I'm having trouble processing this level. I set that down, but I guess I let go of down before I let go of run. Oh well, I can still... Uh... I want leaves. Okay. I love the fog effect. However, for some reason in this stage it prevents me from uh, processing things. I feel like the fog would have been best used for the outside. All the concepts in this castle, from having a back door to a apparently fighting wart to these giant mega spikes. Not normal sized mega spikes, giant mega spikes. Feels familiar, and yet. And yet... Ah! <sighs> okay, I feel bad now because I missed the, uh... The, this thing. Oh, that's interesting, it changed... The path of the... Wait, I was supposed to time it properly or something, right? What... what do I want from this? I was trying to jump, but I failed to. Okay. There's no way back. 
Oh. I see what that was for. Very bad time in this level. I'm having trouble processing things is part of the issue. I don't know what I expected from that, honestly. Fascinating how parts of this platform stay out front and parts get sent behind. I think the fog plus complicated level design is... And by complicated I mean more than one thing happening at a time. Is making it way too difficult for me personally to process this. It's not necessarily that the level is bad, it's that I am personally not capable of processing this le level. Okay, so, wait for that to get over there. Okay. Okay. Okay, defeat both of those at once. Grab this. Go over here. Got a power up loop in here. Ice. I accept this. feel compelled to wait for that to descend. Really? I don't want to spend this whole episode on this level. Don't hurt me. A hip and and a hop and red get is cool. I want to spend the entire session today on this one level. I've been doing that too often lately. I do think that this thing is clever, but on the other hand, I think being unable to uh, reverse it in case, you know, you didn't know what was going to happen is kind of a bad move. issue with this kind of level design is okay so you need to get in and get out here okay that was enough to e kill even me while invincible but yeah I thought there was going to be a safe spot on this screen there is not you need to get in and get out. 
Yeah, I don't know if the timer for that screen is related to the timer for this screen. In which case, if it is... You know, there was a safe spot where I started, right? A safe spot right here where you start and a safe spot aligned with <laughs> aligned with this and now I need to go back for some reason in order to get this okay I think that's a clever way of hiding things. Okay, how am I meant to proceed from here? Oh, what? No? Oh, this is the door! Which, again, if I weren't having processing issues with processing this level, I might have gotten sooner. I think this segment is cool. I like it. Alright. So, timing multiple things together. Where failure, where you have no control over any of the things, and failure to do things properly can result in death. Not, well, not only can, does. Oh, hey. Okay, no, there was actually plenty of time on that. Oh, hey, eight red coins. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, what? I was supposed to duck there? Secret exit? Oh, jeez. Okay, so, those phantom masks don't help tell you where things are. Okay, I would've gotten tagged there, but... Okay, and if you're not fast enough up here, you die. Uh-oh. Oh, this isn't a secret exit, this is for a, uh... Star coin. Okay, coin. Awesome mushroom. Okay, so there's two power-up mushrooms here. Ribbit, ribbit. Welcome, you mushroom kingdom imbeciles. Didn't think you'd ex didn't think you'd expect me, did you? Uh, no, I didn't think I would expect you. After my stunning performance as the final encounter in Mario's dream, Lord Bowser created a machine that can reincarnate. Any character from a dream into reality with all of their memories intact. He has appointed me as his second-hand king, and has given me the chance to redeem myself. Why do I sound so confident? I'll tell you, it's because... I am the great warrior. <laughs> okay. Interesting method of... Uh, involving uh, involving something the level's main gimmick into this but apparently the gimmick is unrelated to the uh, sound effect 
Which makes sense because you would have to. Oh, no. Well, I guess I am just playing this level and only this level today. Well, also the challenge. No! No! This can't be happening. How could I be defeated by measly vegetables in the real world? They are the enemy of all things candy colorful. Lord Bowser will be forcing me back in the dream realm for this. There goes my opportunity to expand my power through the darkness. Gosh darn, Ribbit. Alright, no. Hey, Mario and Co are here just in time, too. The nasty war capture us and the subconic fairies who are trapped in the vase. Hurry, pull off that mushroom block to release them. They can't survive in there for long. Okay. I, I, I just moved near there. I didn't open it. We're finally going to the home of Bowser. Well, you are, anyway. Thank you all so much for saving us. We, the eight subconic fairies, the peaceful rulers of the Sky Highlands, are forever in your debt. We were once tranquil, friendly, and vibrant land. However, that big, bad brute King Wart had been brought into the real world, much like all of our other subconic creatures you've encountered in your travels here. Now, though, he will be banished back to the Dream Realm, bringing forth a peaceful reign to the Sky Highlands. We will then be able to reverse the corruption that has plagued our castle, all thanks to you. Now, we have been locked in here with the Toads for some time now, and they have informed us of your predicament saving the beloved Princess Peach of your kingdom. Bowser had kidnapped her and taken her to his castle as per usual, although for an unknown reason this time, because every other time it was obvious. Now, simply head onwards, and you'll encounter the entry to the Darklands via Bowser statue. We wish you the best of... Wishes as you face that ruthless brute head to head. We will be supporting you in spirit. You shall surely be able to emerge victorious and bring peace to the entire Mushroom Kingdom. Farewell. Veggies in your face. Eat your vegetables, kids. Save the subconic fairies. So happy to be free. It's interesting that the toads couldn't open this, and I opened it just by passing over it rather than actually interacting with anything. All right. Hmm. I feel like there's too much text. Well, warped it off. Too much text in this game. So. I guess there's six levels to do in here. Join me next time when I start this one up. I'll see you then.